So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to compose a standard curve uh, and plot the points that you obtain from a spectrophotometry exercise where we compare the relative concentration of a serial dilution to the absorbances that we attain for each of those tubes. So I've got my serial dilution here. I'm diluting by one half every single step and then I've got my corresponding absorbances and I want to make a standard curve which means I'm gonna need a line of best fit so I'm gonna first choose scatter plot okay, and that's gonna give me my general graph down here I'm gonna do some cleaning up here and, and actually shrink my table size so that my graph will be closer to my data there we go okay I've got my inspector open again remember if for some reason your chart inspector doesn't open you simply click the chart and you can click up here on inspector and that will open up this toolbar so a couple of things I want to do first and foremost uh, I need to change my axes I need to change my titles I'm gonna get rid of this legend to start us off and I'm going to first start by removing the grid lines of this so I'm gonna come over here to the inspector and I'm gonna choose axis and these grid lines are coming from my y-axis so I'm going to choose choose axis options under value axis y and I'm going to select no major grid lines which removes those but you'll also notice that I don't have a physical y-axis so I will go again under value axis y and I will choose show axis so now I've got my graph I'm going to change this title to concentration versus absorbance and then I want to actually change my min and max values for my axes so for my x-axis I will make the minimum value 0 and I'm gonna make the maximum value 12 and I'm gonna increase my steps to uh, 5 six we'll do six there we go okay so six steps twelve and I want to also add in a title um, for that which I'll get to in just a second I'm gonna do the same for my Y so for Y I'm going to set my minimum to zero set my maximum to we'll do 1.2 and I will also do six steps. There we go. And now I'm going to just change uh, a couple of things with my series first and foremost. Uh, I'm going to click on series up here in the inspector tab and I'm going to come to data symbol and I'm going to make it circles. So now I've got these circles but I don't want them as big so again under series I'm going to decrease the size of those symbols down to five so they actually look now more manageable and if I want to add in a trend line to this whole thing then I simply click advanced under my series heading and I click trend line and then I choose a linear trend line and that gives me my trend line now if I want to change the color of this I simply click on the trend line come up here to the bar and my toolbar I can choose a different color so I'm gonna make it red so it stands out okay so this is a pretty good looking graph I'll expand its size here just a little bit. The last thing I'm going to need to do is add in titles. Okay, so under the value axis Y, I'm going to choose Show Title. I'm going to change this to Absorbance. Okay, and then just the same as I did for Y, I'm going to go choose axis options for value X axis, show title, and I'm going to do concentration milligrams per milliliter. Alright, and that's really all there is to it. So as you can see, we've got our title for our actual chart, we've got all five of our data points plotted, We've got our X and Y axes labeled. We have min and max values that work 
where the graph starts at zero at both the x and y axis and goes up to appropriate levels, and we have graphed our line of best fit. So this is how you compose the standard curve for your concentration and absorbance exercise in numbers.